Representative Kelly Armstrong is being challenged for his seat as North Dakota's sole House representative. Josh Many sat down with Armstrong to discuss the main issues driving his platform as well as his stance on abortion. What are your thoughts on abortion when it comes to incest, rape, health of the mother? For example, the, the 10 year old who had to drive uh, from Ohio to Indiana after she was raped. It, well, first of all, I think the Dobbs decision was the right decision. Uh, Roe created a 14th Amendment right that had never existed in the court anywhere before. Secondly, my mom was a Catholic kindergarten teacher. I've been pro life long before I've been in politics, and I'll be pro life long after. Uh, I'm done with politics. My number one goal is to effectuate policy that has less abortions tomorrow than there were yesterday. When you're talking about rape, incest, exceptions, um, there's statistically in the overall picture, they're not a lot, but anybody involved in those cases, they're incredibly devastating. So uh, I think the decisions for, the, for those things, as is with everything else, are left up to the states, and it's up to state legislatures to make smart, compassionate policy re regarding the life of the mother and the life of the child. So are you complete prohibition on abortion or are there, is it within reason? Yeah, I, I mean, I want to effectuate policy that has less of them tomorrow than there was yesterday. Uh, I think there are, I mean, I, I think if exceptions get more people to vote for it and that causes for less abortions to ha happen, then I think that is worthy policy to move forward. Okay, so both uh, candidates, Karamond and uh, Haugen, have been criticizing you for voting against the insulin cap, the $35 per month insulin cap. Why did you not vote in favor of that? Well, one, because it was part of a very large bill, and that's how we do things. We don't go through a regular markup. We don't do all of those things. It's one part of an overall bill that's actually devastating to North Dakota's economy. Uh, you can call it whatever you want, but the reality is, is even if you believe the Democrats' artificial sunsets, which they have no intention of sunsetting, by the way, it doesn't save money at the very earliest, the end of 2025. So we continue to move forward. We have health care problems in this country. We have prescription drug cost problems. The Republicans have a plan. We've continued to move forward a plan. But what you can't continue to do is just burden shift and subsidize and drive up the cost on, on rate payers everywhere else. And that seems to be uh, more of the same from the Democratic Party when it comes to health care and, quite frankly, when it comes to most federal policy. If Republicans take it back in November, will you move to impeach A.G. Garland? Uh, no. Uh, I, don't, I won't move to impeach anybody right away. What I will move to do is to deal with really robust oversight. It is the one thing we can do well. It's the one thing I think I'm uniquely skilled at, given my background and career, and I think we need to build a case. I think the first thing we should deal with is the security of the southern border. I think we should move forward. I think we should be talking about the fentanyl overdoses that are happening in North Dakota right now. If you have a fentanyl overdose in your community, your border community, 95% of that is coming across the southern border. We should figure out why we're not enforcing existing laws, what we can continue to do to stem the flow, because here's the other thing, Josh, it's not fair or safe for the people coming. Anybody coming to that southern border at this point in time is dealing with the cartel to get there. It's not safe, it's not tenable, and I actually think it's one of the biggest uh, failures of the D.C. media, particularly to not cover what's been going on down there. But no, I'm not calling for anybody's impeachment immediately. I think that was one of the mistakes the Democrats made in 2018. They were so interested in going after President Trump and getting President Trump's tax returns that they actually didn't conduct oversight in a meaningful way. And I think the American people, listen, it doesn't matter if it's border security, it doesn't matter if DOJ. I was one of the first Republicans to go after Director Ray when President Trump was still president. We need to conduct oversight. It's the 21st century and we almost ran out of baby formula. These real issues in our agencies that transcend administrations, and I think the American people deserve answers, and I want to help give them to them. Do you support Trump for 2024? I will support whoever the Republican nominee is. We're working to get through our race in 2022, but I think the last two years have proven with Democrat, unified Democratic control in D.C., and particularly this White House, everything they touch is bad for North Dakota. Congressman Armstrong, thank you for your time. You bet. Thank you, Josh. Still to come on